Hey you guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's currently 5 6 a.m. I woke up for Sahur to eat. Um, I don't usually eat, but I was like kind of hungry because I didn't really eat um, a ton last night. So I made some oatmeal and this, let me show you guys. So this has almond milk, bananas, honey, chia seeds, and cinnamon. I didn't have a ton of fruit. I'm like really craving like berries and strawberries and stuff like that, but I didn't have any. So I just added some bananas in here. So I thought I would kind of like show you guys what I'm usually, or what I'm eating for Sahur and Fatar, and not usually because it's been different like every single day, but just thought it would be fun to do kind of like not on what I eat in a day. Well, I guess I would have eaten a day, but today actually I'm going to be eating by myself because if you guys have been following um, along on my channel, I usually go over to my house every night to eat dinner, but today I have a lot of work to get done. So I'm just gonna be staying at my apartment and eating, making star by myself for one. So I'll show you guys what I'm eating for that. And then tomorrow I'll show you guys what I'm eating with my family. So you can kind of see like what I make for one and then what we're all having together and um yeah i'm just having some water and the fudger is at 5 18 so i have about 10 minutes so i'm gonna eat this really quickly and drink the rest of the water i cannot go back to sleep unless i brush my teeth um if i eat if i get up and just drink water then i won't brush my teeth but I cannot stand going to sleep without brushing and flossing my teeth again. So I'm going to brush my teeth, make wudu. I still have like five minutes. So it is a little bit later and it's actually very later <laughs> it's five o'clock um but i've been working all day and i just got to the grocery store because i didn't have anything for us this morning i woke up and i was like craving like berries and like fresh like watermelon and all these like fruits and i had bananas so i made oatmeal but i really just don't want oatmeal i want like something else so i'm gonna go get some fruit and we'll see what else i was joking with you guys on instagram stories and i said i'm going to the grocery store and the grocery store will tell me what i need and it's very true today especially when fasting all right i picked up a little watermelon some blueberries some strawberries to make some um like yogurt with like a yogurt parfait i'm gonna pick out some yogurt my favorite probably Alright, here's what I've got so far. The snack mix, because I'm craving it. These almond flour crackers are so good, so are the cheddar ones. And I got some um, banana and chocolate bites for dessert. And Lauren wanted some sour candy, so I got her these and the peach rings. Okay, quick. Let me find something taller to put you guys on. Okay, quick grocery haul of things that I did not need. Oh, but first I got some apples because after I break my fast and I want to snack on stuff, I want something salty and sweet. So I've been doing like an apple with like cheese and crackers. So I got um, some of these crackers. These are so good. I shared these with y'all at the grocery store, but they're um, Simple Mills almond flour, rosemary, and sea salt. Also, the cheddar ones are delicious. I can eat the whole bag or box. And then I got these banana bites. They're chocolate covered bananas. And you throw those in the freezer. Then I got some lemon balm tea because I love, I have to drink tea after I eat. And then I got some Faye yogurt, just the like it's not flavored um just for like fruit parfaits i got some pita crackers also for snacks oh i got one of these siggies i really like this yogurt it's the vanilla one it's really good as well i obviously did not need this but i was thinking i would take some of these snacks over to my parents house so i'm not the only one eating all these but this is so good it's a snack mix pretzels um 
has little cheddar bunnies. It's like Chex Mix, but it's an organic one. And then I also got some sour candy. I've never tried these. I've tried the like not sour ones, just the Annie's gummies, but I've never tried the sour bunnies. So I'm gonna try those. My mouth is watering. And I got some of these peach rings. I love those. And then I just got some strawberries and blueberries oh and then i got a mini watermelon so i think i might cut that because i might eat that for so far in the morning so i think i'm gonna cut that up and see if it's a good one so the way that i have been taught to check if a watermelon is good is obviously like you pick it up you tap on it and if it sounds hollow like If it sounds hollow inside, like it doesn't sound dead when you beat it, there's like an echo, then that means it's a good one. And then you wanna look for the one that has like the biggest spot on it. I forget what that means, but my mom told me something. I'm sure one of you knows. So you can comment down below, but we're gonna cut this up, see if it's a good one. This would probably be a lot easier if I had a serrated knife, but I do not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, this watermelon, it looks okay. Um, it's not as pink as I thought it was gonna be. But it might taste different. The smell of watermelon is so fragrant and delicious. It's not okay. It's not an hour until iftar, and since I'm eating by myself, I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything. You guys, I have not cooked dinner for or like iftar this whole ramadan by myself like i'll go to the house and help my mom with things but i'm always going to the house to eat and i just have so much stuff to do today i'm gonna like do a quick dinner and um i'm actually just gonna do a hello fresh meal thank god because i don't even know what i'm craving so i say i don't know what i'm craving because it's at the point during ramadan i don't know if you get got you guys get like this but i like don't crave anything really anymore i don't know what i'm in the mood to eat and so i just decided like hello fresh would be a good thing to have during ramadan and you guys if you're sick of like making food or like you know just thinking about like recipes to cook and all that like hello fresh is a really good option especially like the end of ramadan when you're kind of like burnt out from cooking it's a really good option i am partnering with them on today's video i love hellofresh so much i was looking forward to this package literally for the past two weeks um the one i'm gonna make the recipe i'm going to make is this pasta you guys how good does this look so freaking good it's called silky sicilian penne which i think silky is a really funny word to describe pasta but it has like zucchini mushrooms and tomatoes you guys know i always get the vegetarian option but um i do that so i can add my own like chicken or fish or whatever and i do have a small piece of salmon so i'll add that with this if you don't want to do vegetarian they have like so many different things low calorie carb smart um so many different things and i get the meals for two that way i have some and then some for leftovers we're gonna make this together i literally just opened up this bag um with all the ingredients inside so we've got cherry tomatoes which i'm not a fan of tomatoes but when it comes to pasta like I have to have tomatoes. Got a zucchini, chives, the sauce, mushrooms, which I love mushrooms. I developed a love for mushrooms probably this past year. And then we've got the pasta here. So I think this will honestly be nice. Like when I get married, obviously I want to cook. But I think Mom and I will probably do HelloFresh for a little bit. Um, not like right, right out of marriage, but you know, like it's a good option for like married couples. So especially if you're like just two people. I know Lena does that and it's 
super nice when you're like super busy. I washed and dried all of the produce. I've got all the ingredients right here and then I'm gonna follow this recipe card and it's super easy. I feel like they use like separate pans, but I'm gonna try to do this all in one pan. I always like modify things a little bit, but it's super easy to just follow the directions. I have the worst lighting over here in my kitchen. There's literally not a light. There's no lights over here in my kitchen area. Whoever designed this apartment, we need to talk. But anyways, and the light on my microwave burnt out. So there's literally no light, but the pasta is boiling. Pasta's boiling, I just checked it, it's not ready yet. Um, I decided not to do salmon because I just, I'm not craving salmon. I really just want like a hearty pasta. I always get asked about my pans. These are Caraway and they were definitely more on the pricey side, but I got a set and like it's so worth it. They're such good quality and they're non-stick. The only pan, this one that I use a lot, is a little bit more, it sticks a little bit, but I don't have any trouble like cleaning it or anything, um, so it's fine, but yeah, just any information on that. for you guys you can go to hellofresh.com and use my code amanda asad 12 to get 12 free meals plus free shipping and even like if your family is super big and you're not like one person like me they do have like larger um boxes and you can save a lot of money and it's nice that like things are pre-portioned so you don't have to worry about going to the grocery store and stuff like that so just want to like leave it in the description just in case any of you guys want to check it out and like I said, I got vegetarian, but they have so many different things you can choose from. Okay, you guys, it's almost time, one minute. Getting my dates and my water ready. I love these dates, they're really good. They're the, I don't know, I like them. And I keep my dates in the fridge because I like them cold. Also, this white thing behind me was the console that was over here, if you guys remember. Well, Mohammed came over. I put it there because I was like, yes, he can help me take it out because I can't take it out myself. He was like, I'm not, you're not getting rid of that. We can put it in our, in our house. I'm like, uh, where are we going to put that? Like, we don't know. We don't even have a house. Like, <laughs> I'm not keeping this in my apartment and dragging it around with me until we figure out what we're going to do with it. I don't, like, I don't hoard things if... Like I just donate everything and this is one of the things that I will get rid of. He does not have to. He does not have to know. Anyways, it is time now. Got my water bottle here. <sighs> I feel so 
so good to drink water. I have you guys on my paper towel. Paper towels and I need one. Mm. I'm gonna try the pasta. And I usually eat way more for iftar. But I'm sure I'll eat things later throughout the night. So if I do, I'll share them with you guys. But it's so weird breaking my fast by myself. But these are so chewy, my god. Okay, gonna try. Pasta, it's still steaming. So good. Mmm. I'm really glad I added garlic because that is a nice touch. Also, this would be really good with like chicken. I just didn't want to eat any meat. I've been eating meat every single night. I just didn't want any today. I'm gonna go pray, come back, finish my pasta. I'll see you guys after. Morning, you guys. It is 4.58 a.m. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And I got up, I set my alarm for 4.30, but I could not get up, so I got up at like 4.50. And Fezure is not until 5.16, so I've got like about a little bit over 15 minutes. I made a little yogurt parfait. Let me show y'all. So this has yogurt, um, strawberries, blueberries, honey, and a little bit of cereal because that's the closest thing I had to granola. So I'm gonna eat this. I don't know what it is. I was just craving something light and with a lot of fruit. This is the watermelon I cut yesterday and I just wanna try it because I didn't try it. It's not super sweet which I'm surprised because like the color is good, but it's okay. I've had better. You guys, I ate way too much watermelon. <laughs> it was actually really good. I think my yogurt was too sweet, so the watermelon didn't taste sweet, but it's actually a really good watermelon. I'm gonna get back in bed. I just prayed, brushed my teeth. I'm gonna go to sleep for probably until about nine o'clock. Mohammed usually calls me on his way to work and he has to be there at eight so i usually wake up and talk to him while i'm like half asleep and then um yeah he like lets me go back to sleep and i wake up at like nine so that's the plan i am in the car with lauren we just got home she was helping me take some pictures for instagram some of my eat outfits this is one of them you guys have probably seen by now but um it is six almost six twenty, and what are we having tonight I think like Arabic breakfast. Oh, we're having like Arabic breakfast, manaish, um, probably some mini pizzas my mom said she was gonna make, so, and lentil soup from yesterday, which I've had this huge craving for lentil soup mm -hmm. this month. Like, I don't know so what it good. is. So we're gonna have that tonight. Um, I'm sure I'll help my mom with cooking, so I'm gonna go inside. I just changed my clothes to be a little bit more comfortable. I'm in Lauren's new office room which is going to be so cute and i'm actually very jealous of the floors and the walls because my apartment does not look like this but i'm so happy for her it's so nice i put on i brought these clothes actually and i'm wearing my amazon slippers i've got my water bottle i'm gonna fill this up put it in the fridge i always like fill up my water and put it in the fridge like an hour before iftar so it's like a little bit cold but not like super cold that I can't drink it. Um, gonna do that. I'm very, very thirsty today. My mom is making her dough for the pizzas. What kind of pizza are we gonna have? We're gonna have just tomato sauce with cheese. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have tomato sauce with olives and cheese. And we're gonna do sviha, mm. which is the, the meat. meat mixture. Uh -huh. And we're going to have Barbecue chicken. Yum. And there's three kinds of cheese. It's mozzarella, goat cheese, and halloumi cheese. Yum, that one will be the best. This kitchen's kind of loud, but Lauren and I have been craving like, um, like an Arabic breakfast. And we're not exactly having that tonight. We're having like soup and pizzas, which 
I don't, I'm sorry that we're always cooking that when I'm in my house, but honestly, we've only had it twice this Ramadan. This is the second time. I've just like filmed it every time, but I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers, uh, green olives, and pickles just to have like some pickled things and like crunchy things to um, snack on with the soup. And we usually will like have break our fast with like water and dates. Everybody always says like, why do you break your fast standing up? I don't know if Lauren talked about this, but we just are like always cooking in the kitchen. And then when it's time to break our fast, we break it standing up because then if we were to sit down, we would never get up to go and pray first. So that is why, but I'm gonna cut these up really quickly. to make the um the tire the little pizzas and the meat pies and i actually don't eat meat which i think i've told you guys so um i eat like chicken and stuff but not red meat so i will not be eating that but everything else i am ready for <laughs> pizzas in the oven we're waiting to eat me and Lauren are just sitting here it's 7 42 so we break our fast around 8 5 I want to try the um, barbecue chicken ones with the balsamic glaze on it I was so thirsty today because it was so hot outside we took most of them out of the oven. We still have the barbecue chicken ones in the oven, but it looks so good. Here's the barbecue chicken ones. This just has barbecue sauce, um, chicken, onions, and jalapenos, and then cheese on top. And then I want to put some of this balsamic glaze on mine. So we'll taste, see how that is. Okay, this is like my third one. <laughs> this was barbecue and chicken, and I put the balsamic glaze on it. So good. And then this one is just cheese and olives and then having some lentil soup i did Where's some <laughs> <laughs> it's coming sir it's coming i did some fresh mint leaves for me and lauren baba do you want fresh mint leaves i'll put some for you uh -huh. yeah, are you yeah, sure okay and then moroccan mint for my dad waiting for this to boil and then we're gonna watch married at first sight because we have been obsessed with that um, for the past probably week, we've been watching season 12. Oh, they only have two seasons. Okay, they don't have this season. Okay. Dang, it's okay. We'll just watch it on direct TV.